Shotguns will work out. There's, uh, there's too much shit to learn. There's too much stuff to do. This is the 1301 from Langdon Tactical with all the goodies. It's got the Airdis Industries front end, rear end, the adapter plate for the Magpul stock. Uh, and I've got the aim point footprint mount on here, or the Chrom, I guess you'd say. But I have an AMMG Detroit adapter plate so that I could get the aims on there because I knew that I wanted to get this optic on there because after shooting it on my rifles and everyone else's rifles that this is one of the best red dots on the market. And uh, I wanted this one specifically because it's got a nice big window bigger than the EOTech and it's got that circle only. So when I first got it, got it zeroed in with the Federal Tactical Rifled Slugs, the blue ones, uh, at 25. Jared's heading out. Bye, Jared! <laughs> so, uh, got them zeroed in with those at 25 yards, like on point, and then I installed the improved choke that came from uh, uh, Beretta inside there and started pattern uh, patterning the shotgun. And everybody who is a shotgun instructor or anything will always say you gotta pattern your shotgun to see how it, how it does and where it's at. Uh, happy to report that with the Stelium barrel uh, and the improved choke on here with Federal Flight Control, uh, shouts out to Steph for, for making it rain on me with the, uh, the Federal Flight Control. Uh, I'm back at like 40-ish yards and I'm still getting all nine pellets like in the Charlie. Uh, and that, the, the huge like advantage that I'm getting out of the aims is that basically from here, we're roughly at like 10 yards all the way out to 50 more or less. I just have to put that big 32 MOA circle on the target or if it might be 64. Um, I just have to put that big ass fucking circle on the target and press the trigger and I'm going to score hits. Uh, so yeah, this thing is a monster and I fucking love it. I've become shotgun obsessed. I even uh, 3D designed and 3D printed my own little caddy that I've got here on the end. Uh, that you guys saw me do the, uh, the uh, port reloads with. And uh, I've got the Unity short body 18350 with the PLH V2 head on an R socket mount up front with the M-Lock and another little 3D printed match saver there uh, and running it off of a mod light mod button. And yeah, man, I have absolutely become obsessed with shotgun. This thing is a dream to shoot. Uh, before I got this, I'd maybe put like a lifetime, maybe only like 100, 150 rounds through any 12 gauge. And I knew they were rough, like, all right, 12 gauge recoil is insane. Uh, but this thing, especially with the blink system that uh, they've got going on in here on the 1301, it's, there is no fucking recoil. Like, even when I was uh, zeroing this thing with the slugs, I, I was expecting that same, like, rough fucking, you know, bruised shoulder 12 gauge feeling, but no, this thing just turns it into mush. So, uh, highly recommend this. Um, if you have your own 1301 and you are a student of ours, you can use our code or code uh, with uh, Langdon Tactical. It works on all uh, accessories and training. Uh, no firearms because obviously we're out here in California. You can't get the cool stuff. Yeah, if you're looking for a shotgun, just get this one. Like I know Ernest and like all these other people on YouTube and shit, uh, Ernest Langan have all been saying that this is the 1301 itself, not even with like the, the LTT trigger job or anything like that. It's probably one of the best combat shotguns made so far. You know, we can only go up from here or maybe sideways, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys. And this is my 1301.